Hi, this is the fourth episode of the Maps in React series, in which I show you how to create a map app with pop-ups, a sidebar, a visualization switcher, geocoding control, and 3D terrain. In this episode, I'll show you how to add a geocoding control to the map. We'll continue with the code from the previous episode. Remember, you can get it from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. We're going to use the MapTiler geocoding control, so let's download this package with npm, install it, and run the map app. Next, import the geocoding control and its styles into the map component. Because I'm already using the MapTiler SDK, I won't use the React component that is part of the geocoding control. However, I would recommend using this component if you need a geocoding control without a map or are migrating from MapboxGL. I'll create the new geocoding control in the map use effect and add it as a control to the current map. You can see that this works, but you can significantly improve it by playing with the geocoding settings. For example, you can limit the number of results to three. I can also limit the results to a specific country. That eliminates results from, say, Australia. But I still don't get the results from Honolulu first. I can fix this by setting up a fixed proximity and specifying the center of my map and I can limit the results to just the ones that have the type address. If you want to explore more geocoding options, have a look at the API reference. The link is in the description below. Subscribe to our channel now, because next time I'll show you how to add 3D terrain to this map. You're not going to want to miss that one. Bye for now.